Hey guys, so welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are done for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So uh, today's topic is all about the enumerate function in Python and Julia both. So I'm going to show you how the enumerate function works in Python and Julia and how you can get the leverage out of it. So you'll know both uh, the languages enumerate function at the end of the video. So let's get started of today's video. So uh, what is the enumerate function is all about? So you can see that I have given this enumerate function over here. So enumerate means basically it is going to give you the index position of the elements. So you can see that over here. Uh, we have the list like A, B and C. And their index is basically 0, 1 and 2. So if you want to get the index automatically. So what you can do is that you can just call the enumerate function. So enumerate function here on x. So it is going to give you the uh, pair like this. So it is going to give you like this, like 0, 0, a. Okay, then it is going to be the 1, b. Okay, it is going to be the 2, c. In this way, it is going to give the outputs. So then what you have done, you use the tuple unpacking over here, index and the value. To get those outputs so for index and value in enumerate x it is going to provide the index and the value that is what it is going to provide you so if i just click uh, if i just uh, sorry if i remove uh, all the things and if i just run this cell you can see that uh, how does it looks like so if i just run this cell you can see that it is going to provide the index and the value so index is zero Value say index is 1, value is b, index is 2, value is 3. So, in this way, it is going to provide you the index and value in Python. So, same thing if I go to the Julia notebook, you can see that in Julia also the same function, like same format, everything is same. Index and value I have provided, I have used the enumerate function in Julia, and I have also given the print ln in index value. The only difference of the Julia and Python is that it just uh, uh, like the Formatting is little different, like for loop do not have any uh, colon over here at the end. And at the end you have to use the end keyword in the for loop. And you have to use the uh, like you have to use the first bracket inside of it to get the index and value. So in that way you are going to give the uh, formatting in Julia and you are going to get the similar output. Everything is same. So if I run this cell, you can see that it is going to give you the output like 1a, 2p, and 3c. So here 1a means because in Julia index starts at 1. In Python it starts at 0. So that is why it gives the 1a. And in Python it was giving 0a. That's the only difference. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science and machine learning. So I'll see you soon with a new video. Thank you.